this year so far has been filled with so many things that don't want me to go outside. Whether it's all the insanity downtown and in other places, whether it's the Rona, or all the wildfires and the terrible air quality. But, it did rain a lot the other night. Uh, I actually posted a video on this channel. I occasionally do some of those 12 hour long videos like uh, Sleeping Cats and Pin Clock. I think it's the only two I've done, but I posted six hours of thunderstorms. That was right out front of the house here when we had the crazy thunder and lightning. So link to that down below. But yeah, so I think the fires are about six per six percent containment right now, and the air is actually good. I think the AQI was like 19 this morning. Also, the uh, you can see a lot more green out there. Grass is coming back. But anyway, it's not a whole lot of too much exciting, crazy stuff today. I've just got a few things to do around the house. We're gonna vacuum the floor, and then I'm gonna pull up the soaker hose out back that I have around the roses, and see what else we need to do. This is our old Lynx cordless rechargeable vacuum cleaner here. Wait, can I do this with one hand? Ha, there we go. I actually did a video about that a long time ago. Yeah, I've had that vacuum cleaner for quite some time. Let me, uh, I'm actually gonna pull up my, uh, pull up my video history here and see if we can figure out which one this was. So this video was way back when I wasn't really titling stuff properly. Yeah, face of the sun's out there. But let me find this real quick here. I, I didn't, I didn't really title stuff and I didn't put anything in descriptions. Um, I think it was, let's see, B-A-C. The future of the Supreme Court is in danger like Ads. Does. Oh yes, this is the one. Okay. What does it look like? Ah, that's loud. Okay, so this is it. It's vlog number 144. You can see when I bought this vacuum cleaner and I think the guy selling it was trying to scam me, but I actually scammed him because I got it for cheap and it wasn't really broken. But anyways, uh, let's get some stuff done. Oh, it's actually somewhat warm out here. So I got this here soaker hose from a friend a while back and it goes all the way down here, all the way around there and to the other side of the house to water all the roses. But since um, rainy season is back, I think we can roll that up and uh, put it away. So one of my friends recently planted about 210 arborvitas on his property. And because they were new, they required a lot of wiring, watering and stuff. But he went through all the different soaker hoses and drip line irrigation systems. And what he found was this weird flat cloth soaker hose from Harbor Freight, of all places, turned out to be the best. It's a really interesting design. It's literally just fabric and then the edge, well, it's a piece of fabric that's folded around, and then the edge is stitched. And the water comes out through the stitching and drips. So, like, about every five millimeters or so, you get drips of water coming out of this. So it's super flexible. You have to be careful, though, like with the rose bushes, for example, they can tear this fabric. But, yeah, I never would have thought Harbor Freight, of all places, has the soaker hose game figured out. And it's cheap. <laughs> so there you go. If you need soaker hose and it doesn't really, if it's not an issue with it getting torn or cut, this is the way to go. Now the question is, where do I put this in here? Um, ah, maybe if we throw it way up there on top of that shelf. I think that's a good out of the way spot. Stay. Okay, so I got the, the world's longest grabber stick here, and uh, we're gonna try and put this up the top. There we go. Uh, let's see, I'm in the wrong spot for this. Let's see here, turn around like this. All right, and huzzah! Nope, let's try it again. 
Hey, there we go. Let me get the spider something to nest in until next year. And our grabber stick goes right back over here, where I remember where it's at. Just kind of hangs right here on this shelf. I've also got one of these super long hooks on a stick. Um, this thing's extendable. This came from a, a chain store that went out of business at the mall. And it's just basically a long piece of pipe with a, with a little hook on the end of it. So that goes over here too with the extendo reachers. Like for example, if I want to grab this cane that's up here hanging on the garage door rails for some reason, I can use this hook to grab that. We'll just put that back. There we go. So I can probably turn this speaker back on. Let's see, auxiliary, set our volume up. I can play some music. Oh yeah. This was for the old green van. Probably don't need it anymore, but I can't I can't get myself to throw it away because this was like $37. Play music everywhere. Here's Spotify on the Everywhere group. Now we'll have music throughout the entire house. What are we even listening to? Oh, Womack and Womack. Love Wars. <laughs> the last few days I've been on an 80s music kick. <laughs> I think I left a hose in the front yard that's probably getting buried in this grass. Oh yeah, there it is. Don't think we're gonna need this for a little while now. Okay, we got everything out of the yard now for the next time the lawn mows itself, which hopefully should be soon. I think something about the legit hazardous air conditions prevented that from happening for the last couple of weeks, but yeah. I think that's about everything we need to do outside today. Yeah. Turn our speed back down a bit here before we go inside. There we go. Yeah. Luckily I just vacuumed the floor and then I ran around in the grass and tracked a bunch more stuff inside. Well, that's where our friend here will be handy again. Okay, so I've been noticing, well, obviously a lot of stuff on this quantum forefront here, but today, yeah, looks like I banged a few walls. We got a couple marks on this thing, but I want to check some of the bolts on this thing. I've noticed that the, the seat back appears to be pretty loose. And also the armrests on both sides uh, seem to have a decent amount of wobble to them. There's basically just a giant Allen bolt right here. So I'm gonna try and see if we can tighten this up first. And these are large. This is an eight millimeter. Let's see if this will tighten up. Oh yeah, I got. Yeah, I got like an eighth of a turn out of that. Okay. And that tightening that up doesn't affect the um, how much force it takes to raise and lower this. But now, see, don't really have any movement anymore. Sweet. So I know with the True Balance 2 seating that these chairs used to have, they had quite an issue with these bolts coming loose all the time. So looks like True Balance 3 is kind of similar. Yeah, that one was also loose. So it seems like just with any 
seems just the uh, same it is with anything else. You got to go around and tighten up bolts occasionally, or things come loose and start flopping all over the place. Yeah, got a good amount of turn out of that too. All right, cool. As far as the seating is concerned on this chair, it's actually been holding up pretty well. Like, better, better than I would have thought. Um, so that part of it's good. Now, now that I'm looking at this, I kind of thought here at first, see these washers here? Those are spacers I had to put in, but I thought those were what was loose and this plate here is what it's attached to. But now that I'm looking at the back of this thing, keep an eye on this plate here. I don't know if you can see that. But the whole thing's moving. So that's part of that track assembly that goes up and down on the back. Um, I don't know if that can be tightened up or not. I don't really want to pull this all the way off of here. It's um, it's a little bit annoying because you have to completely remove the back fabric and eh. Well, I think I'll just leave it for now. But I'm gonna go around and check a bunch of these other bolts too and make sure they're still tight. Okay, most of those seem like they were okay. Oh wow. That one was really loose. Wait, wait, is that stripped out? I've gotten the whole turn and it's still going. Oh no, it's tightening up. Okay, so we got a turn and a half out of that one. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, those two are fine. So we've got one missing up here. That one's not super important, it's just for other accessories on the canes, but definitely interesting that uh, that one is not there. That seat belt bolt on this side was also a little bit loose. Ones for the transport brackets are pretty tight, but still a little bit of play there. I really wish there was a way to deal with this though. I actually had to add some Velcro down in here to keep it from rattling around and stuff. Uh, let's see here, check these. Those seem tight. Now all these bolts down here on the WC-19 stuff, of course I'm not going to touch that because, you know, lawyers and things. I'm sure they're all loose though. <laughs> yeah, so... Shock absorbers, the rear shock absorbers on this thing are still very much leaking. They're going to look at that when they get the rest of the parts in to, uh, get the rest of the parts in to fix what they broke when they swapped the motors. These motors sound like, you know when you're a kid and you put playing cards in your bicycle spokes when you run around? It's kind of what these sound like. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt though, maybe they need to break in because they are brand new. but. Um They did install two different motors on the chair though. <laughs> so I don't know, at this point, um, I'll let them replace the shocks. They went bad in a hundred miles. And if they go bad again, then that's probably when I'm gonna start thinking about uh, maybe dumping this chair, but I don't know. We still, here, look at this. While it's sitting here stopped, brand new motors. The deciding factor on this chair is is going to be whether I can get the proper leg rest for it. I'm working with my lawyer on that right now. And the problem is the leg rests don't extend far enough. And I know a lot of you guys that have quantums have told me that you have the same issue. 
it seems insane to me that they don't make different length leg rests or different extensions. I mean, I know you can adjust the foot plates, but if you do that, then your feet won't be touching them when your legs are not extended. So I guess that's the one last final main thing that if we can't get that sorted, the chair doesn't meet my needs. Thus, I'll probably get rid of it. Did also notice though, I'm pretty sure it was done by the DME, but when we took the batteries out of this thing to charge it the other day, the way the battery cables are on this, they connect to the batteries and they go to two giant Anderson connectors on the top of the chair. And when we took the batteries out, both of those connectors were snapped off of the housing. So what we had to do was take out the screws and the broken pieces. Actually, I have a photo of those parts that were broken. But uh, yeah, we had to take those out, drill holes through the top of the chair, and then install these nuts that hold both of those connectors on. And actually, I can show you that here. There you go. You can see we've got the two Anderson connectors here. And those, the back half of those attach to the top of the chair, and then these front ones are what go down to the batteries. And those are completely broken off. And, and as a result of that, one of the battery cables was very badly pinched and damaged. I actually had to replace that battery cable because it was getting sawed on by the frame of the chair and the batteries. Um, but yeah. Oh, it looks like this is adjustable. So a couple of people have sent me pictures saying they got one of these forefronts and the seating is hanging way far off the front. But I'm noticing here, it looks like we have different bolt holes here to slide the seating back and forth. So in theory, if you have one of these chairs, I think all you have to do is take off these plastic covers. And I'm assuming there's bolts under here somewhere. Can't feel one. I'm sure they're in there somewhere, but I think this rail here is how you slide all of the seating forward and back. Interesting note. But anyhow, um, it is still working. Still getting random errors on it. Motor output one and two defect errors, but uh, I mean, it's getting the job done and it's comfortable, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I have been looking at some different options though for potentially getting a different power chair if for some reason this Quantum does have to go away. Uh, Magic Mobility makes this uh, V4 front wheel drive. I think they call it the V6 front wheel in America. But apparently Magic Mobility was purchased by Sunrise Medical and there's been a few changes. And I know full well what I'm getting into because as some of the old channel viewers may know, my Frontier V6 that I had before, the off-road chair, I had a lot of issues with that particular company. But I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> and I know the equipment's good. The other option potentially would be another Amy Track or another Amy Systems All Track M. It is mid-wheel drive, but they behave more like a front-wheel drive. And I also know that those chairs are very well, very well built. Uh, words are hard. But yeah, I don't know. I, it's it's one of those things, I hear about people getting into these situations like I'm in the middle of now with this chair, where, I mean, we're a year and a half now and I still don't have a chair that meets my needs. Like, how, how difficult can this be? Um, but yeah, whatever. I think that's about all for today. Just said some random stuff to do outside and, you know, I'm just trying to find stuff to do at this point. Obviously there are lots of projects and things I could work on, but I don't know, insert excuses. You just gotta find stuff to fill each day. And oh, one of the things too, I think I've mentioned it in the past, even if I'm not feeling good or don't have a lot of energy when I get up in the morning, I still get completely dressed, put my shoes and socks on, hat, everything. And you know, it just makes you feel a lot more put together as it were, you know, as opposed to just running around in sweatpants or whatever. Just little mental things like that go a long way, I've found. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in a few days.